As Bradford's young men fought on the Somme, their families toiled in the mills, and Lomar Chemical Company made shells for the battlefields. As the war rolled on and the soldiers died, the generals at their desks demanded more munitions and telegrammed their request. So the men and women and children too of Lomar stepped up bold and they made yellow picric acid by the barrel as orders told. Now the streets of Bradford and the lanes were made from cobbling stones and the drag of iron on cobbles causes sparks, a truth well known. James Broughton grafted in Lomar, metal drums he hauled around, when a spark jumped and a sizzling came and the lad was knocked to the ground. The flames leapt out and the packing shed burned and everyone ran in fright. And at quarter to three, with a booming blast, the day was turned to night. The blast was heard three miles away by the workers at Cannon Mills. They saw a great cloud of orange rise over the city, the moors and the hills. The fire brigades from Odsall and from Nelson Street made haste, but as the men rushed bravely in, explosions laid all to waste. Windows burst and houses fell for many miles around. Dogs and children ran for their lives as slates and glass rained down. Six firemen lost their lives that day and 32 more were killed. The fires burned for three more days and the scene was a battlefield. In the cemetery at Skolmar, a fireman stands aloft, a memorial of that tragic day when Lomar lives were lost.